This is episode 1677. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I honor you for being here as you get ready to meditate. You may be brand new to meditation. Maybe that's one of your New Year's resolutions that you would like to meditate. And if so, you have made an excellent choice for your resolution. If you are a regular listener to the podcast, I congratulate you for your consistency because consistency is the key to realizing the many incredible benefits of meditation. I'm sure you've heard all the findings about how meditation is one of the best things you could do for your mind, your body, and your spirit, how you feel about life. In today's episode, you're going to discover an affirmation that I encourage you to repeat all week long. We focus on a weekly theme here and we explore the theme for an entire week. So for seven days, I encourage you to wake up in the morning, repeat this affirmation, and as you go to bed at night, if you could drift off to sleep with this affirmation, foremost in your mind, you will be off to a great start. And that's what the theme is this week, a fresh start as we begin a brand new year. Your resolutions are not just for January and then maybe you carry it into February and maybe a few more months and for most people, the resolutions fizzle out. Well, for you and your fresh start, I want you to be able to create a lifestyle this week with the choices you make, with the mindset you cultivate. There are many ways you can create a fresh start for yourself. There are many techniques and tools to help you along the way. In this series, I encourage you and will guide you to think more deeply about what your fresh start really means to you so that you can be better prepared to persevere in it. Your meditation ritual can actually start to mirror your life. And this makes sense because the part of your brain you activate when you meditate, your prefrontal lobes help you manage stress in a much better way. It's not as though you won't be stressed any longer when you meditate. You'll still experience stress, but you'll notice that you're able to manage yourself and your emotions better. And so when you think about your fresh start, whether this is a fresh start for you to begin to take better care of your body and your health, or to spend more time with loved ones to have a better relationship, or maybe you are prepared 
to grow at your job, the kind of work you do. When you think about the techniques and the steps and tools you'll need to do this, you'll find that when you create an inner shift in how you think and your values and your virtues, you'll find that the changes you seek, the aspirations you strive towards, these will become more deeply embedded in your life when you create inner change rather than just simply applying techniques. Techniques are vital because they help you to transition. So for example, in meditation, techniques help to take you from whatever you were doing in your possibly crazy busy day to a state of peace and stillness. It's not likely that you sit down to meditate and you're instantly feeling this inner calm. It's more likely that you sit down, you do some breath work, repeat an affirmation, do a visualization or any of the other many different meditation techniques out there. And then your body and mind begin to calm down. And then you go into a state of stillness. There's a transition period. So the techniques got you there. But what keeps you there is the time you spend in that stillness. The inner stillness is when you're simply being. This is true meditation. This takes practice, just like any of your other goals for this year will take practice. You'll need to build your strength, your stamina. If you're working on improving your health, learn some new recipes and ways to better take care of yourself and to fuel yourself. You'll maybe need to learn a few skills in communication. If you want to improve your relationships, the tools will get you there. It's the practice and the consistency that will keep you there. The main challenge to meditating consistently to pursuing most any goal you set for yourself. It's not that you don't really want it. It's more that your will may be incredibly weak if you haven't really come up with a plan to battle the number one culprit to keeping you from inner stillness and many of the other things you want and that is your mind is prone to wander your focus is your power and so as you get ready to meditate or as you get ready to do any of the other things you want to pursue in your life, you will be required at some point to master your focus. Now, mastering your focus is an ongoing, lifelong process. Even the most long-time meditators still have wandering minds when they meditate. Even the best athletes or musicians or scientists or the best of anyone out there still have to practice. 
so they can perform at their optimum. And to do this, I encourage you to think about in advance what you're going to do when you do have these challenges. So when you sit down to meditate, what technique will you do when your mind begins to wander? It sounds pretty simple, but most people don't really think about that. They just sit down and think that because they're here meditating, something should be happening to them to suddenly have peace descend upon them. But what is really going on is your mind is looking for something to grasp onto. And so when you do a technique, it gives your mind something to do so that your body begins to relax and your mind begins to slow down and refocus on what you want it to focus on. And this is the same with anything you do in life. So think about the technique you'll do when you sit down to meditate and your mind begins to wander. Maybe a breathing technique or an affirmation or a visualization. And I encourage you to do this before you start your day. When you think about your day and what is coming up that day, think about what you will do. When you're challenged, when doubts begin to haunt you, when fears follow you, think in advance about what it is you will do. So as you settle yourself down and get ready to meditate, know that our full guided meditations are on my SIP and OM meditation app. There you're guided in a meditation where you can meditate for up to half an hour. There are over 1,600 guided meditations there organized into weekly series, just like we do here on the podcast. And you are invited to give the app a whirl for two weeks free access to the full app. When you subscribe, you get two weeks free access. During that two weeks, you can unsubscribe at any time. And you also get a weekly journal customized for the week's theme to go a little deeper into what you're exploring that week. And you get a slow down guide with all the techniques organized for you. So... That is where you can find more, the Sip and Om meditation app. So settle yourself down, close your eyes, and here is your affirmation to repeat as you meditate. The affirmation for today. I encourage you to repeat every morning and every evening is, all I need is within me. All I need is within me. Repeat it out loud. Repeat it silently. Focus on it. This could be your technique when your mind wanders, when you're meditating today. So go and meditate and know you are so worth slowing down for.